Uh, one of the things that I really believe is that when we do something consistently, we'll see constant results. That's right. When we, when we do things consistently, we'll do constant results. And I believe that is so, so important, especially when it comes to our prayer life. God answers prayer. See, God answers prayer. And that's the reason why we wake up every morning to pray. <laughs> because we have the faith and the trust in God to know that he answers every, every prayer. Uh, the Bible says that he inclines his ear towards us. That means he, when you start to pray, he kind of leans in on your prayer to hear what you have to say. I mean, that's how much he loves you. That's how much he loves us, that he would lean in and listen to every single prayer. And you would think that the God of the universe would be like, have his hands full every day. <laughs> I know I, it seems like when I watch the news uh, periodically or or I just see what's happening in the world, I would think, my Lord, I mean, you got a lot of things on your mind and on your plate, but he still individually hears every single one of us. That's the beauty of the God that we serve, amen? His, his telephone line is always open, amen? Listen, drop that in the chat. His line is always open. That's right, open to listen, open to receive, right? And to be able to connect with us because he desires to do that. He doesn't do it because of duty. He does it because he delights in you. He delights in me as well. Amen. And today I want to entitle our gathering. Uh, this is so good. And I want to entitle our, our gathering, The Benefits of Consistent Prayer. You know, as, as Christians, a, a, a prayer is a crucial part of our relationship with God. It's such an important part. I gotta say, uh, it's so important for us to stay connected to God because that's the source of our power. Prayer is the source of power. See, it's through prayer that we communicate with God and, and we seek his guidance and express our gratitude for all the blessings he's given us. And today I just wanna go over a handful of, I, I, you know, just to remind us, right, of the benefits of consistent prayer. And that's why many of us are experiencing just so many amazing things that are happening in our lives, how God is answering prayer and coming through for us as well. And, and the first one is this, strength, it strengthens your relationship with God. That's right. The, a benefit of prayer is it's strengthening your relationship with God. So every single day as you come out walking in the spirit, every single day as you take time maybe by yourself in, in your closet, in that private place of prayer, you are strengthening your relationship with God. You see, when we pray consistently, we develop a deeper relationship with the Lord. So we come to understand his character and his will for our lives. Oh gosh, that is so important and so powerful. As a matter of fact, James uh, chapter four, verse eight says this, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So you see the strength that we get from our relationship with God comes from getting closer to him, from closing in the proximity of our distance between us and God. So when you get closer to God, man, you become, you, you, you actually get strengthened by his presence. You get strengthened by his word, amen. You get strengthened by the fact that you're spending time with the creator. And he begins to reveal why he's created you. And when that happens, man, and you understand the purpose for your life, you are absolutely unstoppable. The second benefit of a, of, of, a, of a consistent prayer life is this. That's, when you have a consistent prayer life, you are finding peace and comfort in your time of prayer. That's right. Drop that in the chat right now. Find peace and comfort. That's right. The first thing was we strengthen our relationship with God when we pray consistently, but we also find our peace and comfort also in prayer. See, prayer can bring us peace and comfort, <clears throat> excuse me, in difficult times. 
I mean, all of us can testify, many of us that have been doing this for a while, amen. And the big thing was even during COVID, during uh, the times of testing, and even today as we go through different changes in our lives, it's our source of peace and comfort. So when we pray, God shows up. We can walk in peace. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be anxious. You know, in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, it says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Oh, drop that in the chat, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, that reference, I'm telling you, that's a scripture that we need to memorize, amen, and put it in our hearts so that we could find peace and comfort in our times of storms and trials and tribulations, amen. Just know that prayer brings that to us as well. The third benefit of, of course, of, of, uh, of having a, a consistent prayer life. See, I, I keep throwing the word consistent because it builds, right? It continues to accumulate as you continue to pray more and more and more. And the third one is this. It helps us to grow in spiritual maturity. To grow in spiritual maturity. See, consistent prayer helps us to grow. And as we spend time in prayer, we become more attuned, listen to me, to God's voice. And we're better able to discern his will for our lives. Oh man, that is so important to be attuned to his voice. You see, prayer is not just a one-way communication. Prayer also means to pray, make your request, and then to be quiet, to hear and listen for God's word, to let his word, because God speaks to us today as well, amen. It's a two-way conversation. And growing spiritually maturity, right, to be uh, mature is to be more like Christ. That's right, to be more like Christ. See, I believe that we need to devote ourselves to prayer so we can grow spiritually and maybe um, overcome some obstacles that we may have uh, in our lives. And not just obstacles that are external, uh, but internal, right? Maybe anger. Uh, maybe we, we have certain things in our lives that we know are not right from God. And, and God, as you spend time in prayer, he'll begin to ever have. Because when you're thankful from the Lord, thankful for what God is doing, then it shows, it shows everyone around you and including yourself that you have the revelation that God is good. And that is absolutely amazing. So, you know, we grow spiritually mature when we pray, right? The fourth one is this. It strengthens our faith. Oh, man, it strengthens our faith when we pray. That's right. Prayer strengthens our faith, and it helps us to trust in God more fully. See, the more we pray, the more we're exercising our faith. That's right. You know, every morning I try to get some exercise in. I go for a walk or I go to the gym. So important. Just the way we want to exercise our bodies, we also want to exercise our our faith. And the more we use it through prayer, our faith gets strengthened. Amen. And then we're able to trust God and believe God for even more. That's right. It, your, your heart is so attuned. After a while, your faith gets so strong and God begins to answer, right? And things begin to happen. And man, after a while, you just expect it to happen by faith. It's not being presumptuous. It's faith in God it gives you the confidence Put that in the chat right now. Faith in God gives us confidence. And when we have confidence, we pray. Not like we're just throwing stuff to the wind. Come on. We pray like we know that God is going to answer our prayer. That's right. He may say yes. He may say no. He may say wait. <laughs> That's the one that really, really is difficult. But the Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, right? So that strength gives us more and more faith to believe God. In Matthew 21, verse 22, it says this, If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for him. Ask him in prayer. 
Oh, man, you can receive whatever you ask for in prayer. If you believe, and I believe as we pray more, we believe more. As we believe more, we receive more. Oh, man, drop that in the chat. Pray more. Come on, pray more. Uh, uh, receive more. <laughs> That's right. Pray more, believe more, receive more. Amen. It's just a process that happens in consistent prayer. And of course, the last thing is this, number five, you receive your prayers answered. That's right. Because when you're praying, drop that in the chat, receiving answers to prayer. That's what a benefit of prayer because the more you do it, let me tell you why this is so important. Because the more you do it, the more you start aligning yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. You begin to align yourself with the Lord. And when you begin to do that, you'll start experiencing God's answering your prayers. Sometimes it'll happen in time, but sometimes it's instantaneous. Man, when you begin to pray and you're aligning yourself with God, then it's an effective prayer that God listens to. Oh, come on, listen, when you pray consistently, you can begin to expect to receive answers to your prayers. That's right. After a while, it's just, like I said, it's just that you, your faith is strong and you're aligning your prayers with God's word and God's promises. Listen, that's right. Drop that in the chat right now. Pray God's promises. Oh, man, when you begin to pray the word of God, then, man, you're releasing the most powerful force on this planet that moves mountains, amen, that begins to change hearts, amen, changes the heart of people. Pray God's promises. That's why it's so important to know God's word so that we can pray God's word, amen. And when we do that, man, God begins to move on our behalf, amen, praise God. In Matthew 7, 7, Matthew 7, 7 says this, if uh, ask, oh, I love this, ask and it shall be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you. Oh my goodness, that, that is so powerful. We need to understand, and I wanna encourage you today to continue to tap into God through consistent prayer. See, that's why waking up in the morning, I want to remind you why you wake up in the morning, early in the morning, every day, to seek God, because these benefits are so powerful, and we need to know that God is moving on our behalf, you know, I heard said that prayer does not change God, but it changes us. Oh, drop that in the chat right now. Prayer does not change God, it changes us. And I believe that that is so important because as we begin to pray, we start changing who we are, what we do, and guess what? Also, what we pray. Oh my goodness. Listen, uh, drop this in the chat. I know I'm dropping all kinds of stuff in today. Prayer uh, is not asking for what you want, but, change, but being changed in ways that you can't imagine. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. See, prayer is simply talking to God like a friend. And it should be the easiest thing we do each day. That's what Joyce Meyer said. Joyce Meyer said, hey, gosh, it's like talking to a friend. It should be an easy, seamless, effortless conversation. Oh, my God. I love that. I love that so much. And that's why we love God. Because the more you pray, the less you'll panic. <laughs> Drop that in the chat. The more you pray, the less you'll panic. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, I hope that you were blessed by today's teaching, that God's word would just, uh, just swell up inside of you, well up inside of you, right? And I remind you why we pray on a regular basis. I'm telling you what, it's so good for us to understand, to know that, to know that consistent prayer has so many benefits that it strengthens our relationship with God. It brings us peace and comfort, helps us to grow spiritually, right? Mature in maturity. It strengthens our faith. And of course, it brings answers to our prayers. <laughs> Listen, that's why First Thessalonians chapter 5, 17 says, 
pray without ceasing. Oh my goodness. Pray without ceasing. That's what God wants us to do every single day. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, I hope you were blessed by today's gathering, by what God had to say to every one of us. And listen, I, I close with a scripture every time we gather together. And this particular passage is found in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, where it says in God's word, be strong and courageous, come on, and the Lord will be with you wherever you go. Oh, be strong, be courageous. God is with you. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day. And always remember that when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. God bless you.